Welcome. This is a tutorial on how to create a black-only shadow. Um, I'm going to assume that you have some Photoshop knowledge here. I'm going to try to explain as best I can most of it, but uh, I hope you understand some of the basics because I'll try not to confuse you here. Okay, first things first, you're probably wondering why you would want a black only shadow and the reason we do this is okay, here's an image of a spider that was supplied to us it's shot on a white background so it's this nice looking guy on a white background and he has a shadow it's a pretty nice looking shadow actually it's got some uh, detail here it fades out comes back in here problem is the shadow if I go to the channels right here, <clears throat> you can see all your different colors that make up CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. You can see in the cyan channel, the shadow is made from cyan. There's some magenta in that shadow, there's yellow, and there's very little black. But what we want is the shadow to be only black seems that cyan has pretty much the best detail of all the channels, but um, what I'm going to do here is, it's not, maybe not the easiest or quickest way, but this gives you the best results for a black only shadow. So what I'm going to do is, first thing is I'm going to unlock this background layer, double clicking it, and then I'll name it uh, Spider. Okay, now this layer is unlocked. My next step will be to create right here a new layer. I call this layer Shadow. Shadow. Okay, so I have a shadow layer, and I have my spider layer, and I'm going to want to put my shadow layer under the spider layer that. That's why I unlocked it so that I could uh, move this layer around. I'm going to turn that layer off. I'm going to click on my shadow layer and I'm going to fill this layer with white. So I go up to edit, go down to fill. I'm going to fill with white. Normal, 100%. So this will fill this new layer I made just white. So we have a big blank white canvas. Now, my next step is going to be to duplicate this entire image. So, what I'm going to do is go to Image, Duplicate. So you can create a copy, exact copy of the image I'm working on. So, there we go. Now I have a copy of the spider image. You can see it's exactly the same. It's got the two layers. What I want to do now is convert this layer to grayscale by going to image mode grayscale it's going to ask me if i want to merge or don't merge it doesn't really matter in this case i will merge it down to one layer it's going to ask me to discard color information that's exactly what i want to do so hit ok and now have spider that is gray and if i show you the channels you can see there's only one channel now just gray so we have a gray spider. I'm going to do a select all, edit, I'm going to copy this bad boy. Okay, now I've copied the gray spider into my clipboard. I no longer need this image, so I can close it off. Don't need to save it. And now I want to paste it into this four color image. Now the, the problem here is if I paste, select my shadow layer, and if I were to just click edit and paste this in, this is what's going to happen. See, I've got a new layer here, and it looks like my grayscale spider I just made and copied, but if we go to the channels, you can see that this is not a grayscale spider anymore. It's back to for color 
It's a four color grayscale because all four colors here, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black are making up the spider. And that's not what I want. What I want is just the black only spider. So what I have to do is go to my shadow layer that I had made, go to the channels of my shadow layer. I want to select just the black channel. So I click on just the black channel. Now I can do my edit, paste. So I'm pasting that grayscale spider we made earlier into just the black channel. And you can see these channels are empty. There is nothing in these channels, just the black channel. So it's truly just black and white. So this is just a black and white spider. So this is my shadow. Now I have this lovely black and white spider with this great black only shadow. Now the problem is I have this layer on top here. There's my colored spider. And when I turn this layer back on, you can actually see the shadow is still color here. And that's because I have that colored shadow and I have to delete just the shadow while keeping the colored spider. So if I delete the shadow, it will reveal the shadow, the black only shadow I made underneath. Now the easiest way to do this is to isolate the spider from its shadow. And I went ahead to, for the sake of time and already made a path around the spider. If you don't have a path on your image, you'll have to clip out the spider. It's pretty much the easiest way to do it depending on your image. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to select my path that I already made. I'm going to make the selection. So this turns the path into a selection. I'm gonna have a feather radius of zero. I want this to be a new selection. There we go. I now have a selection on my spider. So if I go back to my layers, this is my spider. And what I can do now, the easiest way to do this, and this is really good because you can always go back, it's a non-destructible way of deleting this colored shadow from this spider, is to go down right here. This is my layer mask. And add a layer mask to my spider just by clicking on it. And what this has done is it has taken everything you see that is black here is now being hidden. So if I turn, you'll see if I turn this off, you can now see that. See that? There's my spider, but I'm hiding the shadow. So you have just the spider itself. If I hold down the shift key, I can actually, here, uh, if I hold down the shift key and click on this, I can disable this mask temporarily. It says an extrude, so it's not being used right now, and you can see my color shadows back. If I click on it again with the shift key held down, it re-enables this mask, and you can see I've deleted, it's hiding all of that original color shadow. now. Now if I turn on my shadow layer that's under my colored spider, this is the black and white shadow. There you go. Now, you see you have this nice black only shadow and I will show you the channels. There's cyan, you can see, you have a nice clean background. There's no colored shadow in there. Same with these other channels. Black channel now holds the shadow. So there you go. You now have an image with a black only shadow. And you don't have to worry about this shadow getting funny uh, colors through it or shifting. It's going to just be black when it's printed. I can even uh, show you the difference of here's where we started. That was the original four color shadow. And there's we are final black and white black only shadow
My next step would be to save this as a PSD file, desktop, and I can flatten the file. There we go, flatten. Then I can save this as an EPS or a TIFF, whatever I choose. And that can be used in your layout. So that uh, pretty much wraps up the black and black only shadow.